Would you believe one 13-year-old boy could help more than 644 homeless people find homes? What do you think I am, a super kid? One 13-year-old boy can't stop homelessness, but he can be the spark that starts the fire of support, and a community coming together can do almost anything. I was only in grade three when I felt the first spark. My mom and I were on our way home, and we passed a man pushing a shopping cart. Curious, I commented, he seems like he's a long way from the grocery store. That's when my mom changed my point of view. I don't think he is pushing groceries. I think he is pushing all of his belongings. I couldn't quite believe it. I couldn't imagine how we could live like that. Wow, that is really unlucky, I said. It made me realize how lucky my life has been. I couldn't fit all my stuff in a shopping cart. Too much Lego. But it made me think. I couldn't stop thinking that I could do something about it. I should do something about it. That very day, I decided that I was going to help people who were not as lucky. People just like that man pushing the shopping cart. It was a happy fact that my mom had just joined a community organization called Sources. One of their programs is to help those who are about to lose their homes. They hold an annual event called the Coldest Night of the Year, which raises awareness and funds to fight homelessness. I decided to join their cause. I started a team called Team Semi Trail, named after my school. I didn't know if anyone else would join, but I did it anyway. And sure enough, people joined. It was mainly my family and a few of our close friends. We didn't raise a lot of money, but it felt good to be able to help. The spark had been lit, and it wasn't going out anytime soon. The next year, I did it again. This time, more of our friends and neighbors joined. The teachers and principal also supported the event, so they joined in too. Now we had a small campfire, enough to cook a hot dog and a few marshmallows, but it was just beginning. Things really got heated the third time around, in grade six. I put up a hot chocolate stand at our school, and it was a hit. So many students brought their reusable mugs and much appreciated donations. I even saw the line go all the way to the parking lot. That day, I raised $300 in just a few short hours. The local radio station and newspapers got wind of what we were doing and started writing about it. I even got called a super kid. Random people donated to my team. I was even asked to co MC the coldest night of the year event. And just like that, we had a towering inferno of support. It felt good to be able to help. I felt proud of what I'd done. But more importantly, I felt strong. Because even as a kid, I could create change. The fire wasn't because of me. I was just the spark. First, I had to get my family and close friends. They were the tinder, the first thing that catches the spark when lit. Then, my classmates and teachers. We can think of them as kindling, twigs and sticks that serve as the base for the fire. Finally, our neighborhood and community, because you can only grow and sustain a fire if you feed it. So while a spark is necessary, it takes many to keep that fire burning. I feel very lucky to be where I am today, in a comfortable home with a loving family and a lot of Lego. I also feel very lucky that I can help those who need it with just small acts and deeds. Think about it. How often do you see people pushing their belongings in a cart? How often do you see people are in need? And how often do you actually do something about it? Well, hey. It's time you did. But you can't just expect things to happen by sitting on the couch. You need to believe in the cause. You need to believe in yourself. You need to lead. You need to inspire. And you need to rally everyone around you to start a fire. This year, I decided to try something new. Something was burning a hole in my pocket. A new idea, the spark to start a jazz combo. Our school has a fantastic jazz program 
with a lot of talented musicians. And with a friend, I got a jazz combo going. It started with just the two of us, and now we are 10. 10 dedicated musicians with a burning desire to help and improve in whichever way we can. We have performed at our school and at a church, and soon we hope to be good enough to perform for our fundraising efforts. There are so many worthy causes that you can put your heart, your effort, and your resources into. Did you know that there are 4 million children in Canada between the age of 10 and 19? Yes, that's right, 4 million. That's 4 million of us, all with the energy, the desire to help, and with new and exciting ideas just waiting to be tapped into. That's a lot of sparks. Often, we spend our youth, as we spend our lives as young people, desperate to grow up, to become adults, so we can start living and making our mark on the world. But I am here to tell you that we are wasting so much of our youth, being passive, showing up in school, just doing what we need to do, not daring to go above and beyond. How many of you have ever had an idea before? An idea that could change your life or the lives of others, but instead of doing anything about it, you just forgot it. You didn't write it down, you didn't research it, you didn't talk to your friends, parents, or teachers about it. It lays dormant in the depths of your memory, potentially forgotten forever. Why? Because you were afraid, because you were unsure, or because you were worried that you wouldn't be able to do, do anything about it. What if you listened to yourself? What if you trusted your instincts? Could you be the next great inventor or a catalyst for hope, courage, and change? Maybe you too could raise money for that worthy cause or simply unlock an opportunity to motivate others. I was once called a super kid, but we are all super kids. We all have the capacity, the energy, and the desire to help, and we all want to help make the world a better place. And so, my burning question for all of you is, what's holding you back? Take that first step. Be the spark that starts the fire. Because while some fires have always been burning, there is always room for us to light one more. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.